And with the hurricane making landfall in southwest Florida today, emergency agencies are gearing up. Here in Tallahassee, the Florida Urban Search and Rescue Team is on standby in case of an emergency call. ABC 27's Candace Blake joins us live from their training facility now. Candace, what's the hardest part of deployment for these teams? Channing, emergency teams tells me that the hardest part is watching other people go through hard times and being away from their loved ones. It's always hard. It's no different than what we do in the fire department. You know, often we're, we're there at people's worst time. The Florida Urban Search and Rescue Team is on standby to head to South Florida to help once Ian passes through. The Federal Disaster Response Team is one of eight in the state who has special training to deal with catastrophic events. Battalion Chief Jaris Bedford feels the hard work is worth it. We train, we take a lot of pride in it, and our guys have prepared, and we prepare throughout the year for, for these type of events. Leon County Emergency Management Team is also ready to help where needed. Their area of expertise is planning, coordinating, and response efforts for distressed areas. They are available for deployment to help alleviate work on other emergency management teams, though Director Kevin Peters says that it is a task within itself. Well, the worst part of, of any, th any disaster situation is the time away from, from your family. EMS preps for deployment calls throughout the year. Director Kevin Peters feels that the job can be difficult, especially seeing all of the devastation, but enjoys lending a hand and helping restore communities. But to know that, that we can come to a community, we can help out, um, that we can bring our expertise in and, and share lessons learned from our experiences here in Leon County. Officials go on to say that though the job is hard, they take pride in helping other communities. In Tallahassee, Candace Blake, ABC 27.